Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the greatest VPN of them all? Really? We'll see about that. What's up CyberLab viewers and welcome to today's video. We're going to be talking about NordVPN and in case you haven't heard, it's their birthday. <coughs> That's right, my friend NordVPN has just hit double digits. 10 years old. So to celebrate, we thought we'd run this VPN service through its paces. So we could let you know whether it's still a great option in 2022. So without any further ado, let's get into it. In this video, we'll be covering the pros and cons of Nord. Performance, speed, security and privacy, usability as well. And as you guessed it, price. And also if they have a good party bag at the end of the party. Okay, now let's start with a super brief overview of Nord's pros and cons. Ow. Pro. If privacy is important to you, Nord has got you covered. We'll outline the features later in this video, but rest assured your stuff is secured. Pro. Nord is constantly rated as a pretty speedy VPN. There are a number of different factors that come to influence speed, but Nord comes out on top more often than not. Okay, con. You can only connect with six devices. And while this number will cover most people's needs, other VPNs out there do offer you more. Mm. Pro, it's hella easy to use. Pro, the customer service support is one of the best that we've ever come across. Con, it's one of the more expensive VPNs, but you do get what you pay for here. Mm. Pro, I just really like it. Okay, so let's dive in a little deeper now. But before we go any further, are you liking this content so far? Why not hit that like button for me? Your likes mean more reach for this video. Help us spread the word so people that need this info can find us. Okay, let's talk about Nord's performance. No, not that kind of performance. In terms of Nord's performance, let's start off by looking at their servers. At the time of this recording, Nord has 5,330 servers in 60 countries all around the world. Plus, you get unlimited bandwidth on top of that. That's pretty decent server coverage. And while other VPNs may claim more servers, what they may not have are dedicated servers, of which Nord has 5,000 of them. Now, why are dedicated servers important? They're simply more reliable than shared servers and typically faster too. Server quality is more important than server quantity here. Nord does really well at unblocking major streaming services like Netflix and Hulu, as well as many others. I didn't find any issues getting into Netflix around the world. So if the main reason you're shopping around for a VPN is for Netflix, Nord is a solid choice. So for performance, I'm giving Nord a big old thumbs up. Now let's talk speed. Again, NordVPN is a consistent performer in terms of speed. It often makes it to the top five VPNs in speed tests. However, there are factors that influence it. The speed of your VPN can be influenced by how many other people are connecting to the same server as you at the same time. The distance you are from your chosen server, and more. While it's quite common for one VPN to be the fastest VPN around at a certain time of the year, that could change from one month to the next. That being said, Nord is really reliable in this regard and usually makes it to the top of most speed tests. So if you're looking for a reliable VPN for streaming, torrenting and gaming, Nord is a fast choice and a good choice. One minor disclaimer though, if your main purpose is torrenting, you are restricted to certain P2P or file sharing servers. So bear that in mind. Now, before we go any further, if you are interested in purchasing NordVPN for yourself, then be sure to check out the links in the description box below, because this link will give you access to the best price for NordVPN right now, and it will give me access to a couple of shiny dimes for my trouble. Okay, let's move on to security and privacy. NordVPN kills it in this regard. No, literally. For starters, this service is based in Panama which is a nice privacy-friendly location. They have a strict no-logging policy, which has been verified by independent third-party audits. So basically what that means is that they don't keep a record of any of your internet shenanigans. Very cool. Cool, 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 which basically combines the privacy of a Tor browser with extra VPN security. Nord also has obfuscated servers, which greatly helps if you're traveling to an area like China or the Middle East, where the internet is heavily restricted. Plus, Nord also has double VPN servers available, meaning that you can send internet traffic through two different servers for double the encryption and double the security. 
for those double servers, I've got to give Nord not one, but two thumbs up. Now, what about some other key features? Nord comes with the standard features that we've grown to expect from a premium VPN, and they include a kill switch, split tunneling, multi-factor authentication, and malware protection. For those who aren't up with the lingo, a kill switch instantly turns off your connection in the event of a breach, preventing any data leaks. Split tunneling means that you can route certain apps through the VPN and keep other apps on your local server, Multi-factor authentication provides just another layer of security, and the malware feature prevents your computer from downloading anything nasty. So let's now move on to usability. How user-friendly is NordVPN? In short, very user-friendly. As I mentioned earlier, Nord allows you to connect up to six devices simultaneously. This is more than enough for most users. However, if you've got a large family, or you just like giving your mates access to a VPN, this may not be enough for you. If you need unlimited connections, a better choice would be Surfshark. Apps are available for all major devices, such as Android, Windows, Mac, iOS, and even Linux. There are browser extensions for Chrome and Firefox available as well. In terms of the interface, it's nice and easy enough to use. Fairly simple in design, but not quite as minimalistic as other VPN providers. When you log in, you'll see a map of a list of pins for server locations. This provides a nice visual cue if that's what you're into. If you're not, then you might just find it to be a big waste of space. Nord is also super easy to use across multiple different devices, maintaining more or less the same look and feel across both mobile and desktop. And when you're ready to connect, Nord automatically selects the best server available depending on your location. Now this is a nice feature if you're new to using VPNs and also saves time if you're more advanced as well. Okay, so what about customer support? Nord has a 24 seven live chat feature. And to be honest, it's the best customer support that we've come across for a VPN service. Nord customer support reps are friendly and responsive and more than willing to help you with any tech issues that you might be experiencing. Overall, Nord is super user friendly. It's a great choice for VPN newbies and old hats alike. And guess what? It's getting two thumbs up. Finally, let's talk about pricing. Like most other VPNs, Nord has a few payment plans to choose from. If you want to go month to month, Nord will set you back $11.99 per month. That's about on par with most other providers because they want you to commit for longer. If you go for a 12 month plan, that monthly price drops down to $4.99 per month, which is a lot more reasonable. Then there's the two year plan, which drops the price even further to $3.99 a month. That's still more expensive than other VPNs out there, but at the time of recording this video, Nord is offering an extra two years of service if you purchase their two year plan. Now that's a pretty damn good deal if you ask me. An extra two years gets an extra two thumbs up. As I mentioned earlier, if you're interested in purchasing Nord, be sure to do so through our links in the description box below, because this will ensure that you get access to the best deal. With that folks, we've reached the end of this video. So now it's over to you. Will you purchase Nord VPN? Have you used it in the past? What did you think? Would you give it as many thumbs up as I did today? Tell us all about it in the comments. And if there are other VPNs that you'd like us to review, be sure to let us know. Thanks for watching the Cyber Lab, guys. We hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time. See, told you so. Yes, Mira, you're very smart. Do you want a thumbs up too?